Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get better grades. Math edition. Just a disclaimer. These tips how to get better grades work quite well on me. However, they might not work as well for you. But hopefully there can be a little bit of takeaway that can improve your grade. This study guide for a better grade is split into three sections. Ask questions, homework, and study. First, you need to ask questions. If you are confused about anything in math, a problem, a concept, whether or not you have to include a step while solving a problem, ask. Math is very right or wrong, so you either on a test get the question correct or get it incorrect and then lose points. You shouldn't be afraid to ask the teacher because a couple of seconds of your dignity, because maybe you think that the, your classmates will judge you or your teacher will judge you, is not worth that mistake impacting your grade. Also, your classmates won't judge you. You might overthink it, or maybe one person might giggle, but when you get a better score than them by asking that question to clarify things that you are confused about, you'll get a better grade. Secondly, ask your teacher for extra practice sessions. For my school, this means coming in early, staying in after school, or going to your teacher for lunch. Your teachers either make your tests and quizzes or they have seen your tests and quizzes before you, so they know all the material on it. When you ask for a practice session, they'll most likely give you the practice materials for the things that will be on the test. And sometimes not the whole unit is on the test. And so you can only practice those few things. Also, your teacher knows your strengths and weaknesses. And so she, can, she or he can give you tailored practice sessions before a test. For me, math comes a little bit easier in school. So I don't need these practice sessions at as often. However, mo many children in my class come in for practice sessions almost every assessment, and their grades are significantly higher than some of those who slack off. Moving on into our, the second portion of this how to get better grades math edition. That is homework. The most important thing is doing your homework once you get back home from school. Homework is the practice for the things you learned in class. And without practice, there is no progress. Practice will help you solidify the things that you learned in class. So once you get to the test, you won't, you will have all the skills solidified and you won't have to second guess everything that you're doing. Doing your homework can also help your time management. Especially in later grades, you get a lot of homework, and you have to learn to properly manage your time. By doing your homework earlier on in earlier grades, you can see what kind of ways of studying you like, or when you like doing your homework to make yourself be the most productive. For me, I like taking a break after I get home from school and then finish all my homework, and then do whatever I want for the rest of the day.
the third and probably the most impactful point in this how to get better grades math edition is study. Study for your tests. The, mo the most important part of studying is to study your mistakes because by looking over your mistakes and correcting your mistakes you will be less likely to make them increasing your score pinpoint where in math or what concepts or what type of problems make you the most vulnerable the ones that usually you get points off in I usually do this once I get a test back. So when the teacher hands a test back to me, I will look over at all the red pen marks, and then once I get home, I'll correct them on a sheet of paper. If your teacher's allo teacher allows test corrections, then correct them on a piece of paper and turn them in. Looking over your mistakes will significantly improve your score by preventing you from making those mistakes. Second, make study guides. Study guides are my best friend, basically. In math, at least. I like to st start my study guide very early, so I'm not sh frantically shuffling through my papers the night before. Usually I like starting this about a week or a week and a half before the test. I start with making a list of the key concepts for each unit. And usually our teacher in the beginning of the unit will also provide these. This will help you sum up everything you learn. And then afterwards, you can elaborate on each concept. And so you will be able to group all the knowledge and then write it down in your study guide one by one to hopefully remember it better. One thing that extremely helped me is try not to use your notes because if you rely on your notes to make your study guide, you're just reading your notes and that's not active learning. Therefore, you can't remember it as well. So, by not using your notes, you can go into your memory and bring all the concepts out and remember all the concepts. Therefore, by the test, you are more likely to recall the information so you can get the best score that you can. Here is a list of the key concepts for Unit 7. This one our teacher made. And I just go through that when I make my study guide and check them off as I cover the topics in the study guide. Within the, each big concept, I have also mini concepts. So I can break down the big topic into smaller topics and therefore break it down even more so I fully understand everything. Also, st starting your study guide earlier also helps you find out what things that you're questioning or you're missing and then you can go into your teacher and ask for them, bringing it back to our first point. And if you start the study guide the night before, then you can ask your teachers and if you email them or maybe you stay up late and email them they might not respond as fast and by the day of the test you won't be as prepared finally study with your friends however when you do this 
be very cautious. Since many times when you study with your friends, you can get carried off and end up talking about something totally different or maybe fooling around and getting not much done. What you should do is before the test, create mini quizzes and then meet up one day and quiz your friends. Since each of you might have different views on a topic and might think different concepts are more important and what you should know, and not everything can make it on the test. So sometimes you might miss something or a question or a type of question. And then by quizzing your friends, everyone has a little new piece of information that they might think is important and might be on the test. And having a person to quiz you, it can help you remember things. Also, if you don't understand and you don't have a teacher around or maybe you can't email them at the moment, your friends can explain it to you or you can look through their notes and maybe they have something that you don't have. Thank you for watching. Stay safe in this time. And there's a new video every Sunday. Like and subscribe.